hey, welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and today is Sunday which means we are doing cash on stuffing, weekly check-in, budget for the coming week but also a little bit of happy meal. I am so excited you guys because I put in an order with the lovely Danny from Craftco Budgets. This is her information. So she's on Etsy, she's here on YouTube and um, Instagram of course. So go forth and check her out. Her stuff is, you're about to see, amazing. So, so cool. And also got here so fast. Like it was only last week I told you that I had just ordered um, and it's already here. I can't believe it. I, I've opened everything, you guys. I couldn't help myself. I was so excited. Um, so I got some cute little freebies in my order, which is these little guys. Some gorgeous stickers. This adorable scratch off. And the cutest paperclip ever. And then... Are you guys ready? Because this is quite a haul and my goodness, am I loving it. Okay, so I got some Christmas scratch-offs. So first of all, we got, I'm pretty sure that Danny threw in one or two of these for free because I don't think I ordered all three of them, but thank you so much um, because they're gorge. Grab your balls, it's Christmas. <laughs> just, they just made me laugh so much. Let's get lit. Um, and this one, this one had me cracking up out here looking like a snack. Oh my God. I just love it. I just love it. He's so cute. So cute with his little Stanley cup. It was just, I couldn't not. So that was the first one I got. Oh, Betty. I then got these adorable animal scratch offs which are just the cutest little things. So I did get the whole set because these will go into my um, debt binder at some point. Oh, they're so cute. They're just so sweet. <laughs> I love the little zebra. Then I got this one, which I'm obsessed with. Um, I actually have a really similar, it's a really similar art style, witches brew t-shirt and it's like three witches dancing around a massive pot of coffee. So this just was, it's just so up my alley. But these, you guys, these little witches hats are scratch offs. I don't know. I've never seen anyone make their own scratch offs before. I was so impressed. I think they're so cool. They look so cute. I can't wait to try them. Um, it's going to be awesome. I'm sorry, you're probably getting a lot of glare and I'm very sorry for that. The lighting is terrible. Um, but I've lost all of my son for today. We got a bit, bit late, later back from lunch than I was expecting. I also have no words because I've been peopling today, which makes me exhausted. So <laughs> um, then we have these, which are amazing. So we have the reader, the mum, which is exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> I need my copy. The drama queen. You guys know I have a thing for tarot, so these were just so, so my vibe. Spill the tea. They're just so pretty. The audacity, this cracked me up so much. <laughs> and the show. Amazing. They're so good. Then we have, um, we had a placeholder that Danny threw in for me. And then, I got her Scally Lovers Savings Challenge book. So it saves $1,000 plus. It's a low income one. So that's perfect for me. Comes with its own little, um, or two actually, um, like placeholders for your envelopes. So I can pop that in there, which is awesome. So that'll go into my Savings Challenge folder. It also comes with a bookmark. You can choose out of, um, I think there's two, and I chose I Run On Coffee and Cuss Words because nothing has ever been truer. It also has a little spot for you to write your IOU. So if you're into a challenge and you don't have enough to finish, like if you've scratched up or whatever, which is amazing. So let's have a quick look. Um, I know it's going to be a bit reflecty, so I'm sorry for that, you guys. But we've got a whole tally here so you can write down what you've saved in every challenge and total it up at the end. We've got Goth Savings Scratch Off. So, And I love that some of the scratch offs tell you what you're going to save. Some of them are mystery ones. 
we've got snakes and skellies, which is cute. You've got to help little Frankie get home to his mum. I hope you guys can see all of that. I think that you can see, yeah, you're good. We're good. Uh, save 75. These are her own scratch offs again, which I just adore. Uh, a word search, cool. Tower of Tarot. So this comes with its own stickers, you guys, and they're just beautiful. Look at that. The color in them is just gorgeous. So stunning. And they're so funny. The serial killer, the hot mess express. <laughs> This one's funny too, my last flying F. <laughs> Incredible, Incredible. Just, yeah, I love it. We've got color and saves, roll and scraves, more scratch and saves. Oh, I have no words left, you guys. Um, like a battleship kind of bingo, which is awesome. This one's a scratch off too, which I'm just so excited about. I just think that's so cool. This one's a fine Sarah. Where's Sarah from um, Hocus Pocus? Super cool. Skelly runs. You roll the dice for this, and if you land on spin, you get to spin this little. So cool. I've never had a challenge with a spinner before, so I'm really excited about that. And they're all funny too. Like, tripped on a rock, stay here and cry. <laughs> Got sudden boost of energy, move five spaces. It's so funny. Roll and save. Awesome. Color, color by number your way, that's awesome. See, so pick your colors and then color it all in. Mystery scratch off, color and save, mystery scratch off. Awesome. Roll, color and scratch and save, that's incredible. So cool. Uh, zombies versus skellies, that's when you would roll the dice and see who wins. Awesome. Christmas skellies. Skelly Bingo, and then more tarot savings, and another scratch up with the sugar skulls. It's so, it's so cool, guys. They're just beautiful. They're beautifully made, and I am so, oh, I'm so stoked that I um that I purchased from Danny's store. It's so cool. So, well, once again, it is Craft Co budgets on Etsy. Um, yeah, the postage to Australia, it is like on the higher side, but obviously, I mean, that's yeah, with any US or UK store. Um, unfortunately, it is what it is. Postage sucks. Um, let me just pop these down. It is just so expensive to post things. It's a nightmare. Okay. So now that we're done with that, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed looking through everything. It's just, oh, I'm just in love. I can't wait to use them all. I'm actually bummed that I have so many challenges <laughs> lined up currently. Um, cause I have to wait <laughs> and I'm not very good at that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into what we're actually here for. So we're going to unstaff $55 from gifts. I do have to apologize because I am a bit uh, 20, 30, 40, 55. I'm a bit all over the shop. We've just been out for lunch with all of my in-laws for my mother-in-law's birthday and my sister-in-law's birthday, which I somehow forgot to budget for. Uh, like I knew, I think, because I knew I had money in gifts, so I knew I had that covered, um, but I didn't budget for actual lunch and it was so much more expensive than I expected we just went to a Chinese restaurant if anything we under ordered like the kids only had rice and dumplings um and it still somehow cost us $95 so we're going to have to cover that off by um taking some funds from various areas well mostly we're going to take money out of family fun um to kind of cover us from that for that and I will cover it in the budget as well uh so that's that one Medical is unfortunately taking a pretty decent hit uh, because I went, I'm going to have to pull it out of doctors because I don't have an envelope for physio, which is probably a little bit silly, I suppose. Yeah, I don't really want to use my specialist envelope. Um, so we're taking out of here. I don't think I have enough. I don't. We're taking $60 out. So what I'm going to do is, hold on a moment. I'm going to grab... Right, we're gonna do, we're gonna swap over some placeholders. So we're gonna take the two hundred out, and we're gonna put in one hundred and fifty in placeholders. So that's fifty dollars out, and then we're gonna take a ten out. So now we have two hundred, three hundred and fifty, three seventy, three eighty, three ninety. So yeah, we've taken sixty dollars out. Then um, I do have to go back on Tuesday, which means that I'll probably lose out another. $60, which sucks. Um, 
so yeah i'm on a care plan for my physio because i have chronic health conditions i get a chronic health care plan chronic disease management plan whatever they call it um so i do get a bit back from medicare it works out to be about half so i think i paid 120 for the appointment and then i get 60 dollars back from medicare which is great and like you only get five sessions a year so it's not you know um it's not all that but it's still better than nothing um yeah uh that, that one what else am i pulling from family funds so we're gonna take the full 30 out of there to help cover the cost of uh lunch today because yeah that was a little bit more brutal than i was expecting if we're being honest uh so we have 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 Five plus the um plus the fifty that's already in the bank that we've taken out of medical. So we will pop that over to the side and we will grab our budget book. Actually, I haven't done roundup challenge. I should do that first, shouldn't I? Let's pop this to the side and we'll do our roundup challenge quickly. Uh, where are you? There we go. So this week in our roundup we have. Five dollars and seven, and I will speed this up for you. Okay, nice one. That is done. You love to see it. Um, okay, and then into our weekly check in. Let's see, where are we? August, we're in August. My goodness, you guys, August is not nearly over already and I can't quite believe it. Um, it just seems that this year is going so, so quickly. Okay, so we had $50.52 in groceries and we added 70, hoping that would cover us off for the week. Boy, did it not. <laughs> um, but also, I have, um, so we spent... 315.09, so we are 295.61 in the negative. But I did a shop, um, when was that? When was that? Wednesday afternoon it was. So that'll cover us for at least half of this week, it should, until at least Wednesday, I'm hoping. Um, so we have kind of clawed back a little bit, not as much as I would have liked. Um, but look, we'll keep working on it. We'll keep working on reducing that bill and bringing it down as much as we possibly can. Uh, takeout, we started with uh, nothing. We spent, uh, sorry, we added 50. Um, we spent 60 because this doesn't technically count today. I usually would count today in next week's. Um, so we were 10 over. And then petrol... We had 17.34, we added 90, we spent 87.34, and so we've still got 20 left in there, which is nice. Uh, chemist, we had nothing, we added 10. I've used that 10 towards some uh, protein, like collagen powder stuff that I usually add to my coffee that I needed a top up of. So I've used that towards that and some grocery money too, which is also why that's higher. Um, so is what it is. Um, that is our check-in for the week. Let's get on to what we are budgeting and it's a big in and I just realized I did not zoom you guys in. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so our income for this week consists of hubby's regular income and also our child support payment for the month. So we are working with 2,877. That is after I have already taken out our rent from this paycheck. So we're paying quite a few bills out of this one. Um, <laughs> we're paying quite a bit of everything out of this one. So we're paying for our internet bill. This is technically actually next month's bill, um, but we'll have it ready there. Um, we're paying our home insurance which will be 49, internet's 89. We're paying our health insurance, which is 264 for all of us. Um, that is just hospital cover. We don't have extras, um, mainly because we did and um, 
it's definitely worthwhile checking you guys we did have extras for many many years and i worked out three years in a row or two years in a row three years in a row that when i added up everything i had paid for extras and then i added up everything we had claimed that i was worse off i had paid more for the extras cover than we had used in that time so I cancelled it because there's no, there's obviously no point. Like extras is really quite expensive and um, it's also worthwhile considering exclusions and waiting periods and all of that sort of stuff. So just make sure you're checking all of those kind of things, especially with health insurance it can be really tricky. Um, so it's, yeah, it's definitely worthwhile checking what you're covered for um, export and, and how much of it you're using or not using. Um, because, yeah, a lot of cases you, you pay a lot for it and then you don't actually really get very much back. Uh, okay, Spotify is 24. Netflix is 19. YouTube is 17. So YouTube and Xbox is kind of comes out of mine and my hubby's like personal spending money, basically. I account for it as a bill, but it reduces our spending money by that much if we didn't have it i would give it up to us in spending money all right so that totals 489 which leaves us with two three eight eight variable expenses groceries sorry you guys i'm feeling very flat today i'm just really tired because we've been out and about and socializing and <laughs> kind of takes it out of me um take out is getting 65 so that's why we took the 30 out of family funds so together that will cover the lunch that we were out for today the extra 10 i'll pull out of either petrol or groceries to cover the overspending from last week uh, mikey is getting eight dollars so that's our public transport ticketing system it's called mikey in victoria um you have to go and recharge your card um, so that's for if hubby ever, like when hubby catches the train into work um, or sometimes my daughter needs it for school excursions. My older daughter, they often catch the train if they're going into the city or whatever. Uh, chemist is getting 10. Dog food is getting 105. Um, dog bones is getting or choose rather they're not really bones is getting 50 spending for hubby and i is getting 40. i did initially have more than that planned but um i've rolled it up into takeout to cover today so we should have been getting an extra ten dollars each uh so that totals 1068 and we will have left 1265 dollars is that right no, what am I looking at? 1,000. 1,320 dollars is more like it. Okay, so in here, this isn't really sinking funds, this is more cash. <laughs> Uh, my kids' pocket money is 55 between the three of them. Um, it's a little bit lower this week because my oldest had already spent $20 that she borrowed from me. So she, just, she had to give that back to me. Um, and then we are cash stuffing. Uh, let me just work it out because I don't think I did work out what it was. Okay, so we're cash stuffing into our binders. $960. So that is so exciting and I cannot wait. Um, spoiler alert, a significant amount of that is going to our car insurance. <laughs> of course. So Mini Mondays is getting 40, Savings Challenges is getting 100. So we have a total of uh, $1,155, which leaves us with 165, and that is going on to our MasterCard. And that is our zero-based budget for this week. Um, so that's, yeah, that's everything. So I am obviously a little bit... Um, disappointed about our grocery spending and that we haven't been able to catch that up as much as I was hoping we would be able to. I'm hoping we'll be able to have a bit of impact this week and then just slowly over the weeks that we'll be able to kind of get on top of it. I did think we had a golden paycheck this month, but it's actually technically not this month. It's next month and the golden paycheck gets paid on like the last day or something or the second last day of September. 
So, um, but yeah, if we haven't managed to catch it up by the time that golden paycheck gets paid, I will pull the money from there just so that we're not constantly, basically what we're doing is using up our mojo money um, or part of it, not all of it, obviously, but part of it to pay for those groceries in advance when we don't, like we don't have the funds for it yet, if that makes sense. So we're constantly kind of a week behind and playing catch up. So I just want to get in front of that and then hopefully we'll be able to stay on top of it from there. Um, but look, we'll see how we go. Groceries are really expensive at the moment, as I'm sure all of you are well aware. Um, and we do have a few extra needs in our house, which means that, um, you know, extra spending gets lumped into that category too. So, uh, but that's all good. We will, we will get there. And if, you know, as with any budget, if we don't get there, I will just change it. I will just change our budget to meet what we are spending. Like if we will do our best to rein our spending habits in to meet our budget, if that's not possible, then I will flex our budget to meet that spending. So it just means I will decrease in other areas, you know, like I'll decrease our spending or one of the sinking funds, you know, savings games, wherever I have to pull that money from. Hopefully not savings games because they're too much fun, hey? <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button, comment and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Mini Mondos. And I think we're close. I think we're close to finishing one or two challenges. So that'll be really exciting. So hopefully I will see you then. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.